Gina Carano was cancelled for about 10 minutes and that might have been the end of that. Though it only released yesterday, Stadia Pro members can play Little Nightmares 2 completely free. No, seriously, if you subscribe to Stadia Pro, you can log into your account right now and dive into Tarsier Studios' gorgeously unsettling Little Nightmares 2 as part of your subscription. The actress was recently fired from her role in Disney Plus' Star Wars Universe but within a day had landed a new gig with another company. And now there's a hashtag going around on Twitter showing support for the actress. And we highly recommend that you do. Our review for Little Nightmares 2 was published earlier this week, where we gave it a glowing 9 tenths. While she may be persona non grata in certain Hollywood circles, there is a group of folks out there, plus at least one media company, that's supporting her. Check out some of the tweets with the hashtag hashtag Gina Carano is uncancelled. A number of bigger accounts rang in on the hashtag Gina Carano is uncancelled to voice their support for the actress following her dismissal from Disney and The Mandalorian. While fans of the show had been lobbying for months to have the actress removed from the show, there had been little movement on that front. We said, Little Nightmares 2 is a true evolution from the first game. That came to a head on Wednesday though with her dismissal following an Instagram post in which she compared the plight of the Jews during the Holocaust to the treatment of Republicans in the United States. Tarsier Studios has done a fantastic job in creating a world that's even more terrifying, brought to life with absolutely sublime art and sound. If you're not a Stadia Pro member, you can subscribe for £8.99 a month. For Disney, this was apparently the last straw in terms of her employment. Now it's worth noting that a majority of the bigger tweets in the hashtag Gina Carano is uncancelled come from the company that's supporting the groundswell and her new employer, The Daily Wire. Doing so gives you access to a library of over 25 games, with new titles being added every month. Of course, Little Nightmares 2 is also available to purchase on PC, Xbox and PlayStation if streaming games isn't for you. Little Nightmares 2 isn't alone in being added to Stadia. That's because the media company is the one behind getting Gina Carano back in the acting game sooner than later. On Friday, they announced a contract with Carano that would financially back a movie for the actress. As part of the deal, Carano will star in, produce and develop the currently unnamed project. Gina Carano had this to say in response to the new deal. I have only just begun using my voice which is now freer than ever before, and I hope it inspires others to do the same. They can't cancel us if we don't let them. We could not be more excited to be working with Gina Carano, an incredible talent dumped by Disney and Lucasfilm for offending the authoritarian Hollywood left. This is what Daily Wire exists to do, provide an alternative not just for consumers, but for creators who refuse to bow to the mob. Back in early 2020, the Daily Wire and its founder and public figurehead Ben Shapiro had announced they would begin to develop and acquire more movies and television shows. Krata, Starter Edition is free for everyone to download, regardless of pro membership status. It's a creation tool that allows you to work together with friends on creating games from your own imagination. If you've got the creativity, Krata has a lot of potential. But yes, Little Nightmares too. Go claim it. Their first acquisition, Run Hide Fight About Students in the Midst of a School Shooting was released last year. Go play it. It was met with mostly poor reviews, scoring 28% on Rotten Tomatoes. But they appear committed to continually finance new projects that they believe will appeal to their core audience. In this case, Gina Carano is aligned with that vision hence the quick turnaround on the new deal. Though the last Instagram post from Gina Carano was what ultimately led to her ouster, for the studio this might have been a long time coming. The controversy around the actress's comments on social media had been brewing for months. It started around the U.S. presidential election and continued into the new year with Carano posting a number of different things that rubbed fans the wrong way. And when she wasn't featured in the upcoming season promotional material for The Mandalorian the writing appeared to be on the wall. What's next for Gina Carano will be making movies for the Daily Wire's core audience and group of subscribers. Does this mean she's uncancelled now? Some would say, for sure.